In Python, a list is a container for grouping related objects. You can create a list by placing the elements in brackets or by using the list method. Each list element is accessed by an index and lists are also mutable so the list can grow or shrink as needed. Let's take a look at an example of some lists in Python. So to create a list using square brackets, we can first name the list, let's call it animals, and assign it to a comma separated list of animals, dog, cat, monkey, and giraffe. And we can print that list of animals by just saying print animals. There's the entire list printed out, and we can print a specific element in that list by providing an index in square brackets. For example, dog, it would be the first index zero. This will just print out dog, and if we change the zero to a one, it'll only print out cat. We can also create a list using the list function, something like this, my list, and use the list and just pass in like, the words hello and what that's going to do is going to stick each letter in hello as an element in the list so print my list and you'll see that every single element got chopped up and became a separate element in that list called my list if we wanted to create a list of numbers we could do something like this nums is one two three and four and we could also just easily print out that list of nums and to do the same thing using the list function let's call it nums2 and we will set that to list one two three four print nums2 and there's that new list whereas it takes each number in there and makes it a string and you, this wouldn't work with an integer, so it has to be a string that's passed to it. But you could always convert these strings later on to an integer. Let's just focus now back on this animals list. We can provide a start and end index when printing out a list such as this animals list. So currently it prints out dog, cat, monkey, and giraffe. But if we just wanted to print dog and cat, we could specify in square brackets the starting index and then index where we want to stop. So if we put two, it'll just do print out zero and one. Two is exclusive. So this should print out dog, cat. Let's add another list of animals called pets. And we can set that to fish, snake, and hamster. We can create a new list called zoo and concatenate the animals plus pets together and then just print out the entire zoo of animals. So there is all the elements in the list printing out at once in one much bigger list. To print out the size of the list, we can print the len of zoo, which is the number of elements in that zoo. There's seven items in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if there's seven elements in that list, we know that the indexes are from zero to six. So we want to set item seven to be that new element. But if you don't know what that last index is, you could just simply say len su, and that'll set that last index element to whatever we want. Tiger. And now let's print su again. And, oops, we made a little mistake. So here we get an index error. This is a common error that you get when dealing with lists, is when you try to access an element outside of the range. So to make this actually work, it's a little trick you can do is just add a colon to the end and also put tiger in brackets like that and then run it. Now it actually worked and it printed out tiger at the end of the list and added to it. And finally, let's do one more thing. Since we're on the topic of lists, let's delete an item from the list. So before we print it out, let's say del. 
the name of the list and which item we want to get rid of. Let's get rid of this giraffe. That's index three, zero, one, two, three, and print it out again. Giraffe is gone. So yeah, so we saw a lot of examples of how to create a list and concatenate list and delete stuff from a list. Thanks for watching and check out the next video where we check out some common list methods and also how we iterate through a list.